name is Céline Hamdeni, I'm from Tunisia. I work with the Association for the Promotion of the Right to Difference. We work towards eliminating all forms of discrimination while promoting universal human rights through an intersectional lens. Since I was a kid, basically living within a conservative environment, and then I discovered feminism, discovered activism, the revolution happened, yay! <laughs> and then I started putting words on the injustices, on equalities. I started seeing groups forming. I was engaged in groups. I was invited at first, of course, to attend some informal discussions that then became formal and then I started little by little discovering what civil society is about, what's the work of NGOs um, and it became um, my job, my full-time job and uh, now I contributing to this uh, to the system. I'm trying like to be as strategic as I can to work uh, inclusively with everyone whether in uh, rural or urban areas, uh, regardless of uh, diverse identities, to rethink uh, our um, conditions and to bring people together to federate in order to see change and to make things happen and to have actions, concrete actions. I hope in 2050 to see more uh, legal reform and concrete actions um, within general population and within the ground, on ground, to change mentalities, to change the social norms, and to work towards a true uh, inclusion of everyone, regardless of ethnicity, gender, uh, sexual orientation, uh, religion, etc. We have some media attention, especially when we uh, when we publish the, uh, our analysis reports about uh, cases of discrimination uh, that we collect within this uh, group of NGOs. Um, I have uh, seen attacks, especially cyber attacks, uh, that targeted me as a person, uh, even though I know that we shouldn't read comments uh, that target us, but hate speech affects a lot especially coming from people that do not know you, know, know your story, because there's stigma around women, around minorized communities, like being vocal about discrimination and injustices, especially talking about taboos, uh, sexual orientation, gender identity, sexual characteristics, like um, racism, because we usually tend to say that there's no racism in Tunisia, whereas um, if there was no racism, we wouldn't have a law criminalizing racism. Uh, first and foremost, we need to address uh, the phenomena and um, the biggest threat to our uh, work, I guess, which is impunity. Impunity, of course, related to um, perpetrators, whether uh, the police or general governments that are being repressive towards NGOs, um, civic space in general and uh, activists, but also uh, the general public, like even addressing hate speech and comments. So this, this needs to be addressed. We have few laws that address cyber uh, violence and hate speech. So access to justice need to be a right to everyone and especially to human rights defenders uh, and a holistic law protecting human rights defenders need to exist in order to ensure the sustainability of our work and our protection mental physical holistic